I'm wearing in my sketches. I bought some new shoes, and as comfortable as they are, because I've got a bad toe, they are while they're wearing in. So, there you go. You don't need to use it. Yeah. I'm going to use it. So hello and welcome to the Busy Man's Guide with me, Mr. Paul Adams, and him, Wind Rich, uh, Steve Richmond. Um, <laughs> as you probably just heard, Steve is bitching about the fact that we had a long walk the other day. Uh, on Monday we decided it's Wednesday today. On Monday we decided that we were going to go to College Lake and, and have a look and see what it's like. And when we got there, it was closed, only because What's of closed? deliveries for the first time in that like. That, that time, yeah, they were closed for deliveries. So, um, so hopefully we're gonna get a chance today. Instead, we went along and walked along the reservoirs over at Tring, and then got lost. But unfortunately, it didn't vlog any of that, um, which would have been good because because of getting lost, really, yeah. wouldn't it? So, uh, why why don't you want to go for a walk, Steve? Well, my main reason, yeah, because I've got some work that I need to finish. No, nah, that's not what you said. Well, my foot's hurting. So Steve has left me with the keys and gone off to find a toilet. So now it's time for me to try and find Steve. So let's go to a new section called Where the F*** is Steve? He's not in there. Steve? Is he in this bush? Steve? Honestly, don't know where he is. We've got to find him there. Ah, there he is. We found you. We were looking for you because we knew you'd gone off to find a toilet. I've done that. In the bush? There's a visitor centre that you go through. I went in there and used a proper toilet. Oh, okay. You've paid for a ticket. Uh, I didn't have didn't much change on me, so as well as my monthly subscription, suggest the £3 donation, but I had five P's in my so I put another 90 P in. So I'm just going to stick that in the car. Okay. I'll be honest, that was rather disappointing. I was hoping to find him in a hedge. Not because I wanted to find him peeing or anything like that. That'd just be weird. Steve is now a paid up member of the Buckinghamshire Berkshire, Buckinghamshire, Oxfordshire Wildlife Trust. Well, actually, it's not just Steve, is it? No, it's definitely not just me. Apparently, it's Mr. Steve Richmond and Mr. Paul Adams, so it really is like they're married. You're proud of that, aren't you? Oh, you know. We're enjoying it a lot. We might as well help out. Yeah, but you don't want to walk. I don't mind walking. I just, I'm just conscious of my workload. We should hurry up and do it and stop f***ing about and walking all the time. <laughs> That's my point. So Steve's just uh, giving me a little lesson on what animals and what birds they have here. So you like the look of the place? Yeah, it's quite, it's quite good as a list of what they've actually seen here. Um, sparrow holes here, red kites, obviously buzzards, kestrels. So here at the uh, the College Lakes, they provide telescopes. You can't walk too far because you're stuck. But telescope, binoculars—that's what I mean. So you can see all sorts of stuff. So at the moment, all I can see is geese. Lots of geese.
Steve and I were just talking about the fact that we've never actually been here, even though this is on our doorstep. And we've seen people take pictures here, and it seems to be quite a, uh, a favorite spot of local photographers. A lot of people keep saying College Lake, and we're finally here. See, look at this, again. Okay, apart from the cloud cover and things like that, and, and matey boy doing his work over there. It's a very, very nice view. Zoom in a little bit. You can see all the geese. There are tons of these things. It's quite peaceful here, isn't it? If it didn't have strimmers. Yeah. I like the strimmers. I think it's quite nice to get the boat out there to strim. It's not like, you know, pop out into the garden. You've actually got a boat docked up from the side. True. So, Steve, are you wishing you brought your camera? No, you keep asking me that. You want me to say yes, didn't you? Well, no, it's just that, you see, let me just explain. Steve didn't bring his camera because he just wanted to scout the location. However, when we were in there, he took my camera over and then <laughs> took over shots. I lost so many shots because, well, okay, two, but I lost two <laughs> shots because Steve was like, oh, let's do this, let's do that. I exaggerate quite a lot. Americans don't exaggerate. They're, they're drama queens a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well. I well, got the popcorn today as well. Did you know I tell what? you about the time that Steve pretended to be Mr. Tumble to a four-year-old kid who's going to one day grow up and realise that he didn't actually meet Mr. Tumble, but he met Steve? I think it might be time that we put Steve out of his misery. I don't mean like physically put him out of his misery, but we probably should stop, go back to the car and then head home. It's been a, an interesting hour or two and uh, we've got some more places that we can come down and do a proper vlog. I need to save money for a long, long lens. Are you, you're missing your length, are you? Yeah. Oh. What? You've forgotten something. Oh, my camera. No. What? Oh. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay busy, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe, we Come on. You can carry my camera. Come on. He just takes the... <laughs> <laughs>